More calling Orson. Come in, Orson. More calling Orson. Come in, Orson. Oh, Nanu. <laughs> More calling Orson. Come in, you Cineraminus. Just get on with your report, Mark. Oh, yes, sir. This week, sir, I learned what it's like to be famous on Earth. That's good. Well, sir, sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. You see, most Earthlings try very hard to be recognized for what they do, but when they become stars, sir, they realize they're recognized wherever they go. You mean they lose their privacy? Well, sir, sometimes they can even lose their clothes. You see, being a star, sir, is a 24-hour job, and you can't leave your face at the office. Isn't fame its own reward? Oh, yes, sir, it is, but when you're a celebrity, everybody wants a piece of you, sir. Unless you can say no, there'll be no pieces left for yourself. I thought all stars were rich, live in mansions, and drive big eggs. I know, sir, that's the common misconception. But you see, to get that, you have to pay a very heavy price. You have responsibilities, anxieties, and... Well, to be honest, sir, some of them can't take it. I'm not buying it, Mort. Why, sir? It sounds to me like they have it made. Well, most of them do, sir, but some are victims of their own fame. Very special and talented people. People like Elvis Presley, Mel Monroe, Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, Lenny Bruce, Freddie Prince, and John Lennon. <laughs>